everyone and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm on the side of the street, super easy to get to, not a hike or anything, but um, I got a lone tree framed up in the farm field and the sun just got up over the horizon. Um, I love this tree. I've shot it many times. It's it's an awesome minimalist photo. Um, it's super easy to shoot. I just uh, frame it on the bottom four thirds and I just have the aperture wide open um, trying to blur out the background but it's really not blurring anything out. So actually I'm gonna drop that to F9. Eh, F 11. Let's see, zoom in super sharp. Damn, these geese are going crazy over there. Light is just starting to hit it. Um, it looks, I love this, this kind of photography, super minimalist, lone trees um, are really something I love. Yeah. I was hopeful for some fog this morning, but uh, it's not really happening. Maybe when the sun does come up, everything is super icy right now. Um, the roads and everything is just very icy. There was a lot of humidity yesterday, I'm assuming, and uh, that all froze up when it got below freezing last night. <coughs> and I thought, you know, when it starts warming up and it hits that, that uh, temperature of uh, humidity to the temperature normally gives you fog. Um, but right now it's probably too cold yet and it needs to warm up. And I'm, I've been here once before where all of a sudden it's just like, you could see in the background just fog brewing and growing and growing. And, and then all of a sudden it just was coming in. And that was my favorite shot of this scene is um, a nice sunrise and it had the purple, purpley hue uh, in the sky or in the fog and uh, it was super awesome. Definitely my favorite photo of this tree with that kind of atmosphere adds so much to it. Really makes it minimalist because you just got the tree. Now I do have the background. Um, I uh, moved as far as I could to try to eliminate the background as much as I could because there is a grouping, uh, a nice uh, form of um, like uh, pine trees that uh, really kind of like blocks the background. It may, uh, darkens the background and then you can't really see all the branches of it. So I moved all the way over as much as I could until um, it opens up in the back which helps for the tree. Not available, what is not available about that? Oh, was trying to adjust uh, the temperature, but I had it set to just cloudy. All right, Kelvin, there we go. There we go, now we got it. That's a little too... Nah. I'm at 64, Kelvin, maybe 63. We don't need it, actually. 62, 62 looks, looks about right. Um, you can actually drop the temperature a lot when it's sunrise. Ooh, yeah, it's really coming in now. <coughs> F9, 
as the sun is very golden in the morning. So you got that warmth already. Or you just use, um, a lot of people will use like cloudy or sunny, uh, that, those kind of settings. I prefer, after I've been doing so much astrophotography, I just like to adjust my, uh, my temperature or like the, the color of the scene manually. It just, I could sit there, look back and forth and try to adjust to what I see is best or what's almost identical to my eye. Um, and obviously I shoot raw and probably most everyone shoots raw. If you don't, please do. It helps you in the long run in post-processing. If I can talk today, good morning. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, once it's in raw, then you can adjust your, your temperature in post-processing in your edit to what you want it to be. And a lot of uh, morning photography is just you standing there and taking a bunch of photos and seeing which one is gonna look best for you. Um, and then you just start deleting off the ones that you don't like. Uh, it's gorgeous this morning. I am happy. <laughs> birds would definitely help the situation all right I'm gonna show you what uh, I got framed up here so you know what I'm doing all right. so this is what I got going on here as you can see the tree is in the bottom four thirds um, right now I got the histogram as middle as I could um, Nothing's getting blown out. I'm at F11 at uh, 20th of a second. Uh, yeah, super simple shot. You can see it's, it's way, way out there. Um, using my telephoto, I'm not completely wrapped out, uh, but it is getting close to full extension. Uh, it's a 100 to 400 Tamron lens. But yeah, very minimalistic kind of photo, lone tree. Uh, and that's something that I do love a lot. Something very simple to shoot. Yeah, it's just a easy, quick morning sunrise shot um, where I'm just capturing first light. Basically, um, when it kisses it side light on the tree, it uh, really adds to a lot of a lot in the photo. But I'm not thinking it's gonna get any better. That's going to be it, and I'm going to move on and start uh, with, a, with a hike. I think I'm going to go to an, a place and go for a hike, see what else we can capture. Um, I'll not have any more time for, uh, for golden hour, and if I do go somewhere, so it will probably mainly be for a hike. But it is a gorgeous morning and I could definitely get my legs moving. <laughs> All right.
So I got on the trails here in uh, a nature reserve. It's for uh, Burlington High School, actually, is what it's called. Uh, the Burlington High School Nature Reserve and Hiking Trails. It's a nice little area. And um, I've never really gotten a good photo here. Or it doesn't really have much of a... Uh, a photo photographic landscape here it's very uh, buttoned up um, but I'm just here for a hike in the morning super frosty still and who knows I do have all my gear so uh, if something does pop up and catches my eye I am prepared uh, yeah gonna go on a nice little stroll here and uh, listen to the tunes of the birds as they are chirping away it is a gorgeous morning we're getting closer to spring can't wait <laughs> not saying I hate winter in any means I actually really do love winters uh, but I am excited to see the sun early in the morning. I'm a guy that wakes up really early to go to work and uh, driving in at night is uh, quite, quite not, uh, it's not something I really enjoy. I like to see the sun, it wakes me up. So yeah, I'm excited for that, minus the fact I'm gonna be waking up at three in the morning. Uh, to do sunrise photos <laughs> That's not fun, but I'm already waking up at 4 30 in the morning Monday through Friday, so It's not much of a difference But yeah If I do see something you'll be with me Just walking around and uh, I have my camera in hand with uh, long lens um, early on on the hike I did see a nice uh, it almost looked like a red tail hawk perched up in a tree which made me grab the camera out and the long lens and um, even though I'm not much of anything of a land, like a wildlife photographer I'm mainly into uh, landscapes I really would not mind getting nice bird photography and in the last video as you can see I was uh, doing some of that got caught a cardinal and uh, yeah so I have the camera ready I have it set up for autofocus, um, image stabilization, and uh, I have it set up to uh, shutter priority at like 500, 500th of a second. <laughs> I am definitely no wildlife photographer. As you can see, I'm wearing all black and no, no camouflage or anything and not a very good lens for that. But if I can catch something, I will. 
try my hardest to catch it. And I'm being loud and everything, but I am moving slow when I'm not filming. Um, yeah, still enjoying my morning for sure. And uh, hopefully I can catch something. Now, now I'm like, my mindset is on like, try to capture some wildlife. And uh, yeah, I know you need to be really patient and I shouldn't be walking around and just hunker in and uh, see what I can catch. But uh, I'm just uh, trying it out, or not really trying it out. Like I said, I'm just on a hike and I just have my camera set up for it and if something does come my way i would love to catch like an owl or a hawk or any kind of bird even like a red red squirrel or normal squirrel chipmunks i don't know whatever i can see and whatever i can capture will be a bonus for today and i'm gonna keep on trucking on All right, guys, I packed everything back up into the backpack and uh, heading back to the vehicle. Got about three mile hike in. Didn't really catch any wildlife, but uh, I was kind of expecting that. Didn't really see any other images for this morning and the light's now getting really harsh. Uh, but it was a very nice hike this morning on a beautiful, beautiful day. And yeah, if you, this is gonna conclude the video. And if you liked it, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, it's a weekly video post here, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you and everyone have a great week. Bye.